Hello, hello. My name is Annie, and today I'm doing my final check in for the month of October. So, oh God, I'm really, really tired. <laughs> I know that's been a running theme lately, but I'll explain in a bit. Coffee, as always, cappuccino. Oh, it's very hot. Okay, so looking at my spending, I only had the last week of the month to go. Um, not much happened. A lot of work happened. That's what happened. Um, on the Thursday, I bought a lotto ticket. I think the Powerball was $20 million. It didn't go off. Anyway, I bought a lotto ticket just on a whim because I had so much um grocery money left and eating out money uh, left over. So I bought a ticket for $10.80 and I won $12. So I'm going to cut that, count that as a like a cancel out, whatever. That's going to be a no spend. Um, then I went to see my parents again. I actually went home to see my sibling, uh, my elder sibling. We're starting a business together and it, things are going very, very, very quickly. I'll talk about that one later. Anyway, I went to Coles, bought some, I don't even remember. I think my other sibling asked me to pick something up on the way home so that he wouldn't need to hit the shops after work. Whatever, it was very small, $24. I'm taking that out of my personal grocery budget. My electricity bill came out, $83.72. And my bank gives me 1% cash back of 84 cents. Then dinner. I originally wanted to go home and eat Chinese food, like order Chinese food takeaway. But they were closed for a family wedding. I was like... No, come on. I didn't really go home to see you guys and spend time with you. I went home to eat. Anyway, we had to get pizza. It was like 150 bucks or something like that. But I'm taking out $100 from 50 bucks from groceries and 50 bucks from splurge. And um, there was a bit of spare cash laying around the house, mom and dad's house. So that was the other 50. Then I went to Aldi, picked up some milk uh, and fresh fruit. And that totaled to $21.51. I was a bit surprised at the checkout, I'll be honest, with the very few things that I bought. Um, it was milk, eggs, um, uh, bananas, strawberries, and I think a little bit of um, the bag salad stuff. That used to come down to like $16. Same bag at Aldi. Nope, not anymore. Then last of the health insurance came out and fly screens. Oh my God, so quick. It was so quick. Anyway, um... I've just preemptively unstuffed this. I will preemptively unstuff this because they are coming tomorrow. So this is like the genius idea of the year. Um, you know, it's rather than calling an installer, I actually contacted the factory that makes the fly screens. So I got it for way, way cheaper than all of the installers. Yay. Um Hopefully everything goes smoothly with the installation. So two weeks, that's a very short lead time. Everyone else was telling me like six week lead time. Anyway, um, let's have a look at the categories then. First to bills. Bills and utilities, just the... Uh, Electric and then the health insurance, so 165 is coming out. 
leaving me with 1,100 for bills and utilities. Um, I haven't seen a water bill in probably three and a half months. So that's got to be due, right? That's got to be due in November. Also a gas bill. So quarterly bills will be coming out November. Yeah, November is going to be a very expensive month because council rates are due, strata levies are due. I have some business expenses. Yeah, groceries. Groceries. Um, I didn't spend it that much money, but because of uh, going home, the food, I am taking 50 bucks out of my groceries and then 50 out of splurge. So anyway, I have 105 and I've got $10 left. $10 left for groceries and I'm going to just um, redistribute this money into November's cash stuffing. Splurge, splurge. No splurge, but the food, like I said. So 150, $150 left in splurge. Home and miscellaneous. Yeah, the big stuff, right? Um, so 20 bucks of home stuff and the fly screens. So in total, I still have 50, 70, 90, 95 left in home and miscellaneous. So I did obviously steal from month ahead month ahead and new phone to um, fund the fly screens. There's a lot of me reshuffling categories and there will be more in the next coming months. Nothing came out of family, nothing came out of gifts and hosting. So spending was quite high, obviously. Home renovations. And part of me kind of, kind of regrets putting down so much money, like three grand and a bit down this month, because it turns out that I have major, major business expenses. So I've mentioned that um, we're starting a new business and capital funding has been okay for it. Um, we're not getting a loan or anything. We always try and fund our own ventures. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, uh, I am an entrepreneur. I currently run two businesses. So, you know, I hate working for other people. I just can't. I need to be the boss. I just can't handle the office politics. I mean, I hate office politics in general of mine, but, you know, that's why you have an external HR person. Anyway, um, long story short, we're adding more, more money into this. And because the business is accelerating at quite a speedy pace, um, it's going to necessitate more travel, particularly international travel. So to fund this, my sibling and I have decided that I'm going to cover more of the home expenses. Um, we financially support our parents. Uh, so who, we did ask them to retire early. Um, that was on us. Um, obviously, we can afford it with given his job, um, my job. I do have one business which I use to completely fund mum and dad. Um, and, and I get by on the other business, you know. Life is very, very simple that way. Anyway, because of how I have structured the business. One business uh, is run through a discretionary trust. To fund the capital expenses for the business, I have basically bet on myself that all of the money that I've taken out of it, I can replace by May of next year. Now, this is a big, big sum of money. Like, humongously huge. Um, 
uh, I have faith and hope that I can do this. It is one of those um, Rob from Peter to give to Paul situations. Only in this situation, I am both Peter and Paul. So I need to come up with, as a backup emergency fund, $10,000 before May, which is doable, totally doable, I think. Um, obviously, I do have my emergency fund of $15,000, but that's my personal emergency fund for like, I don't know, if COVID 3.0 hit again, if the plague re-emerged, you know, COVID taught me I need to have a massive emergency fund because I am self-employed, right? It's not like I can go running to the boss for money. I am the boss. So to make this happen, I think I am going to be robbing heavily from my savings challenges. Um, we'll see. I hope... I hope that the business will be making money by July, June, July next year in profit, full profit. So fingers crossed, but basically savings is not going to be savings. That's going to be gone. Either way, I need 10 grand-ish to put back into the business fund. Um. So I've pretty much depleted the entire business buffer. Um, yeah, I mean, in the past, it has worked out for me before. Obviously, that's, you, you gotta take risk. You gotta take risk. When you run a business, you take humongous risk and you know, if it fails, you lose a lot of money. I have lost a lot of money like that in the past, but. If it's successful, you know, that's how you get a house deposit for Sydney property. So um, it's very stressful, I won't lie. Uh, when I was this stressed last time, it was COVID actually. So um, we'll see, we'll see. I haven't been sleeping very well. That's why I've been hitting the coffee hard for the last couple of weeks. Um, but I'm very excited about this new business venture. So that was the business rant. This week was astronomically high because of the fly screens. <laughs> so I spent in total $1,735.53 this week, taking my month total to $4,385.79. That's quite high. The October closeout was I did add more in the important bills and um, medical and savings categories, but obviously because of the home renovations, um, I am in the red with some of these. So... Splurge, minus 50, home miscellaneous. I did have to add to it and then take away from it. Minus 1,030 family, also in the red. Savings challenges where I took my month ahead money and added it to fly screens. So mostly, mostly I did add, but some major expenses this month. Anyway, taking my total difference for the month, I was ahead, but, you know, taxes has to come out. So that's my October spending. Quite, quite a hefty spend, but again, it is what it is. I hope you've all been well, and I will see you next time. Bye.